reason why everyone believes the narcissist. People tend to believe the narcissist. They tend to accept that what they're saying is true and often without any proof. They're convinced by the narcissist. Because of the narcissist's ability to persuade people that they are the victim. The narcissist presents themselves in a favorable light by playing the damsel in distress. By being this person who is in danger or trouble this person who is in desperate need of help. They create a sense of urgency so that people act on their impulses, so that people act without thinking. This is how the narcissist gets other people to engage with them. This is how they get other people on their side. They build fake relationships with people based on trust, emotional affinity and sympathy. They act like they are in a hopeless situation that is impossible for them to deal with. While having a great need or desire for something which makes people see them as less of a threat, as less likely to cause damage or danger. So it makes them more believable. They're very good at presenting themselves as someone who is not able or likely to cause harm, which is how so many of us ended up with narcissists because we didn't see them as a threat. We didn't realize that we were in danger. They act like they are helpless. They act like they are unable to defend themselves or to act without help. They act like they're lacking protection and support, which makes people agree with them and support their opinions and actions. It makes people want to step in and help. If someone is receiving unkind or unfair treatment, most people will want to provide them with assistance and support. Most people will want to defend and protect them from harm or danger. And that is why narcissists always play the victim. Because it's effective. And they're very good at managing people's perceptions. They know how to cautiously reshape the perceptions of their targets to fulfill their desired motive. They know how to convey and deny selected information and indicators to influence people's emotions, motives and objective reasoning. They act polite, friendly and likable to allay suspicion and hostility. They charm people. They act like they're concerned with and seeking to promote human welfare. Like they're unselfish, compassionate and generous. A social reform philanthropist. Someone who is trying to organise the interests of a group for a social change. Which creates pseudo-empathy. This understanding of the thoughts, feelings and emotional state of other people. but without identification, care or urge to improve their condition. They manipulate other people's emotional condition for their own benefit from charming them. Which has the effect of allaying suspicion and hostility. It prevents people from questioning their motives because when they act pleasant and agreeable, it causes people to overlook things. So they will be more likely to side with a narcissist. 
the narcissist is controlling other people's perceptions of them so that when they attack you it looks like an act of defense which is their intended result and even before they have fully informed other people about you they're touching on matters for discussion and consideration they're focusing on things that are of little importance because they're just trying to provoke a situation they're trying to cause trouble they love to create meaningless drama for other people and that is why a lot of the things they do seem so over the top because it's intended to get a reaction they will take things that they don't like about you and then they will reinvent it to put doubt in other people's minds to create uncertainty in other people about you but they do it secretly and dishonestly in order to achieve an advantage they're two-faced they're double dealing they're backstabbing they're hypocritical they say they do or believe something but their behavior or words show that they do not do it or do not believe it they're deceitful and insincere they will say different things to different people so that it puts doubt and uncertainty in other people's minds about you but they're doing this without your awareness so that when people come around you they're examining and inspecting you closely and thoroughly when the person who they should be inspecting is the person who is giving this information about you to them but that's why they have to engage with these people first so that they can start creating doubt it's divide and conquer they maintain control over their opponents by encouraging a difference of opinion to prevent them from uniting in opposition and many people fall for it because they don't objectively analyze and evaluate the issue in order to form their judgment so they end up being played like a puppet they end up being skillfully manipulated by the narcissist in order to suit their own needs and benefits which makes the narcissist feel powerful it makes them feel like a conniving all-knowing mastermind because they're getting people to do what they want them to do so they will be successful in getting people to not listen to you or believe you and it will be a very difficult struggle for you it will be a tremendous task because behind the scenes they're saying all of these things about you but when they're in front of you they're calm and unworried they don't have an issue with you but without your knowledge they are turning people against you and people start to perceive you in a bad light so when you go to those people and try to give them your side of the story they don't want to believe you because the narcissist has already placed doubt in them about you they're prepared for any contingency from you they're vigilant and alert they're wary and watchful they're cautious and careful they're on duty to protect and defend the narcissist from you they're examining and inspecting everything you say and do because they lack critical thinking skills they have poor judgment which is how they were so easily tricked and deceived by the narcissist tactic
so they're not going to believe you. And it's a waste of time to try to convince them. Because by that point, they're a lost cause. They're not going to be able to hear it. But you can prove yourself by showing your personal qualities and moral principles. That's the only way that you're going to achieve a result. Because it doesn't look good when you go out there and try to defend yourself against what the narcissist is saying about you. It just makes you look worse. After they've already got there first and made you look bad to other people. If you go out of your way and try to prove yourself, it's going to make you look even more questionable. Even though you may not have done anything wrong. It will make you look worse. Let your actions show who you are. Let your performance and achievements disprove everything they're saying about you. Because that's what will defend you from attack, invasion and loss. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.